Hi, and welcome to Everlaw. My name is Tori, and I'm on the user education team. When a responsive document has information or images that should not be shared, you can use Everlaw's redaction tools to withhold that information. In this video, we will discuss what redactions are and how they are used, how to redact the content and metadata within an individual document, and how to apply redactions across multiple documents. Redactions allow you to withhold confidential information from documents that you will produce. Everlaw's redaction tools allow you to easily redact both the content and the metadata of your files. Before production, redactions will appear as a gray filter over your document. You can select the redaction stamp, and you'll be able to see the information underneath in case you need to make any changes. After production, a new copy of this document is created and the redaction is burned in, completely removing the underlying information. First, we'll demonstrate redacting individual documents. In the review window, you can toggle the redaction tool on or off by selecting the redaction icon in the toolbar. Once the redaction tool is on, Select the area of the document to redact by drawing a box for Freeform Redaction. When you apply a redaction, you'll see a pop-up window asking if you want to apply a redaction stamp. Redaction stamps let you select specific text to appear on top of a burned-in redaction. These can be used to explain why the information is exempt from production. You'll see a list of stamps that were created for your project. And if you don't see the particular stamp that you need, and your administrator has enabled the setting, you can create a new custom stamp. To do so, select New Custom Stamp in the drop-down menu and type your custom text, and then select Add. This custom stamp will be applied to your redaction and will appear in your redaction drop-down menu from now on. You can select the caret next to the redaction icon to select additional kinds of redaction options. Inverse Redact allows you to redact a full page with the exception of the content that you've drawn a box around. This should be used when you want to redact the whole page except for a particular section. Redact Page allows you to redact the current page, all pages, or a custom range of pages. If there are key words, phrases, or patterns that you would like to redact, and you want to make sure that you redact all instances that occur in this document, you can use this text selector tool to redact either the current instance or all instances. If you are redacting personally identifiable information, and you would like to configure your redaction to only redact part of the text, you can select the gear icon. Likewise, if you would like to search for those words or phrases in the document, navigate to the Hit Highlights tab. Here, you can search to identify all instances within the document. Next, select the Redaction icon to redact the current highlighted selection of the term, or select the Redaction icon with the green check mark to redact all instances of the term. This will redact the text everywhere it appears in this particular document. In addition to redacting the visible contents of your document, you might also need to redact the metadata values, such as custodian information, that will appear within the load file. You can see the metadata of your document from the Metadata tab. With the Redaction tool toggled on, you can select the Redaction icon next to any field that you would like to redact. When the document is produced, this information will not be present in the load file. If you choose a redaction stamp, that text will replace the metadata information. Another redaction tool in Everlaw is Batch Redaction. This allows you to redact text or metadata in multiple documents at once. This is a great option if there is personally identifiable information or other key information that will be redacted across the full production. 
batch redactions are done from a results table. First, select the set of documents you'd like to redact. It can be all the documents in the results table or just a subset. Next, select batch and then redact. If there are key terms identified as persistent highlights, they will show up as a selectable list, but you can also type in any text. You can also choose to select metadata fields to redact across the set of selected documents. Not all documents can be redacted from this window. Audio files, video files, and any other files without images, with the exception of spreadsheets, will need to be redacted directly from the review window. Next, select Configure. This is where you will choose a redaction stamp or add a note. The same stamp and note will be applied to all the redactions in the batch. If different redactions need different stamps, you should do them in separate batches. Select Next and then Redact and Everlaw will get to work on your redactions. To access helpful articles and videos about redactions and other features such as redacting spreadsheets or metadata, select the project help icon. The Training Center has a lot of helpful content to help you learn more about redactions. As always, please feel free to contact us if you need support. Thank you. Next, Select Configure. This is where you will choose a redaction stamp or add a note. The same stamp and note will be applied to all of the redactions in this batch. If different redactions need different stamps, you should do them in separate batches. Select Save 